Hello friends, uh, today I'm going to show you a small video of uh, how my HTPC boots directly into XBMC. Um, XBMC is the um, front-end media player um, center which I have chosen for my HTPC. XBMC stands for Xbox Music uh, Media Center. Uh, there are certain reasons I chose XBMC over other media centers which I'll be discussing in the thread as well. So I'll just start my HTPC and we'll have a look at, uh, as to how my HTPC boots into XBMC directly. When I say directly, it means that it uh, you know it, it boots, uh, giving you a complete feel of a media player without the intervention of Windows or something like that. It goes directly into XBMC and giving you a feel that you actually have a media player instead of an uh, HTPC. We'll all, I'll also show you certain other features of XBMC after it loads. So I'll, I'll start my HTPC right now. Here it goes. Just have some, uh, just have some patience. That's the BIOS uh, screen, which, uh, which is something which I'm, I'm, I'm also planning to remove and replace it with something uh, which resembles with XBMC at the moment. Here we go. Here we go. So XBMC is loaded. Uh, just how small do we have? So now, five years, hold on. Yep. So XBMC is loaded. That's the main menu I have. And uh, the main menu is seeing it depends upon the skin you have used. And I've customized uh, my skin according to my needs the wallpaper and the way it moves. Everything can be customized. The skin which I've used is called Transparency Skin. Uh, and it's the, one of the best out there and uh, having the maximum number of features as far as I can tell. So the skin name is Transparency. We have videos, movies, TV shows, music videos, music pictures, programs, weather. We have the weather as well. So for example, I have in Gavzi Amad India, so it's like it shows 35 degree because temperature. Uh, I have configured movies uh, and programs weather and I have not configured yet TV shows, music videos or music yet. So I'll start off with uh, with, with movies and show you how my um, media library looks. Here it goes. So these are the movies I have and that's the way my media library looks. And if you if you if you pause uh, on a movie for for a couple of seconds, it you know pops up giving you the information of the movie like the studio, director, writer, genre, runtime, year, rating, and things like that, and the plot, of course, the plot. And every information has been taken from IMDb, and it's it's genuine and authentic. Uh, you can check the rating from from internet. It's 8.4 for Black Swan. And tomorrow, if the rating changes or any of the information changes, XBMC updates it automatically. Of course, you have to set it to change it automatically. Uh, you have to you have to choose. Uh, you have to put a check mark against, you know, update the media library whenever XBMC boots. So whenever XBMC boots, he uh, the 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 media software would try to update the information from internet and would update the rating and you know, all the information it has. So you can have the plot now. You can you can change the way your your library looks. I'll, I'll show you how. I'll show you certain examples as to how your library can look. You can have the fan art view, which is like this. Then you can have the list view. You can have full list view. You can have a thumbnail view like this. Then you can have 
a cover flow view which is my second best can have icons pretty neat huh? XBMC is super cool and then media info game and then item wall you know, complete wall with movies And the slide view. The, the slide view is the uh, is what I usually use because it has the the fan art, the cover art, and the movie information as well. Now, if you if you if you right click on the on the movie, you can you have the pop up menu which shows you other information. You can do that. Q item play using resume from 48.26 so I must be watching this movie last time and it gives you the option to resume it from there add it to favorites and movie information mark it as watched edit title blah 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 if you go into the movie information it gives you further more information the director writer studio is the same it also gives you the path the movie where the, where the movie has been stored shows you the cast you click on the cast okay. shows you the cast And if you click on the cast, probably it will also give you the information about the cast itself. And of course, you know, you can see that it's, it's it also shows you the movie resolution, if it's 720p, here we go. Here, it's 720p, the aspect ratio, uh, the codec used, uh, the DTS 5.1 or Dolby Digital, and subtitles you know it's it's cross against subtitles so it doesn't have subtitles apparently that in sign and things like that so now if you if you click on play the movie starts to play or you can simply uh, click on the the movie itself to play but XBMC also give you gives you an option to play using a third party uh, plugin called Cinema Experience. What it does is that it gives you, before playing the movie, it gives you an option to play your own videos and a trailer as well, just just to give the audience the feel of of, of a real cinema. Now, uh, you can you can have a couple of videos before it plays, and then you can uh, you can have uh, you can have a trailer to play it as well. The trailer. XBMC picks the trailer randomly from internet. You can tell XBMC where to pick up the trailer. Like for example, I have told XBMC to pick up the trailer uh, from Apple trailers, and then I have told XBMC to play uh, a demo audio uh, file, which uh, which uh, you know, which gives you the DTS or the Dolby Digital Experience, and then the movie plays. So we'll we'll, we'll choose the Cinema Experience. I'll show you how the movie plays from Cinema Experience. First, it would pick up a pick up a random trailer from the internet and pl would play. Hold on, give it give it some time. It's, it, it, it would pick up from the internet. Yeah, it's it working. Okay, here we go. Now it has picked up a random trailer. I this I haven't put any any trailer by myself. Hi. Hi. Two people searching for love. This is the most romantic thing ever. I've always dreamt of seeing Los Angeles. One chance to go the distance. I was just wondering what the plan was for dinner tonight. Oh, I don't care. What do you feel like? Okay. You can see at the corner uh, the the Apple sign which shows that the trailer is being picked up from the Apple Trailers .com. Break your heart. You know when you've been trying to figure something out, you can't figure it out, and you figure it out, and you're like, duh. To find its other half. You're my best friend. Jason Siegel. I love Mary. I love her so much, and I can't lose her. Amy Adams. I love you too. Kermit the Frog. Hi there. Miss 
piggy? Kermit! Whoa, 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 wait, 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 stop. Are there Muppets in this movie? Yeah, yeah. Come on, guys, let's go! That was an expensive looking explosion. I can't believe we had that in the budget. So the trailer ends. Now it will pick up uh, the That's the THX demo. I've mm -hmm. given a couple of demos. It can pick any one of those.